Alrighty, this video will help you to set up your MLA research paper document. We are going to start at the very beginning by going to Microsoft Office. For you, that may be a waffle. Go ahead and sign in. If you're on a school computer, you may already be signed in. And you are going to open Word, which is right here, has a W on it. And some professors or teachers will tell you to click the MLA style paper. There are a lot of errors in that. I would actually avoid that. Uh, some professors suggest it, but I would suggest opening a new blank document. And once you get in there, we're going to check and make sure our margins are at one inch on all sides, which they normally are in newer Word programs. But if you want to check on that, go to Page Layout and go to Margins, and you can see that Normal is one inch on all sides, so we're going to select that one. All right, then we are going to make sure our spacing is done correctly. We're going to go to After and change that to zero. We're going to expand this box and we're going to change line spacing to double and then click on OK. And that's going to make sure your entire text throughout your whole paper is double space. So the last thing we're going to do to set up is go to home, which is right here. And we're going to change our font to either Arial or Times New Roman. Arial is just a teensy bit bigger. So if you're trying to be sneaky and make your paper look a little bit longer, Arial is just a tiny bit larger and then we're going to change the size from 11 to 12. So now you have Arial and 12, and that is what your font and size should be. So you also want to know how to insert page numbers. To insert page numbers, you're going to go to Insert, and you're going to click on Page Numbers. You are required to have page numbers in the upper right-hand corner of every page of your research paper. So we're going to, you've got some choices here. You're going to choose the one that's in the upper right hand corner. That's this one. And when you click on that, your cursor is going to be blinking up here and that's where you're going to type in your last name. Let's say your last name is Jackson. And then you're going to put a space. And that is going to ensure that Jackson and the page number is on every page of your paper. In order to save that information, you're just going to sort of click off. So I'm just going to click over here. Now what's annoying is you can't see that page number anymore. So if you're nervous that it's not there, you can go to File and go to Print and click on Print. And that's going to take you to a Print Preview. And in that Print Preview, you can see that your name and the page number are in fact up here. So if you're wondering if you've forgotten to put the page numbers or if they're really in there, you can go in and check by clicking on print, but make sure you don't print until you're ready. So I'm going to click on cancel to get out of that. And I'm going to close this box. So now let's talk about what goes on page one. What goes on page one is your name, your professor's name, the course title, and the date. And after that, you're going to hit enter one more time and you're going to center the title. Now don't start spacing over to try to figure out where the center is because Word has buttons for that. You're actually gonna go to home and then these are your alignment buttons. Uh, the one for center is here. The one for right is here. The one for left is here. You can see that when you roll over all of these buttons, something pops up that tells you what they do. So it's really easy to find things in Word. So we're gonna click on Center, or you can use Control E, which is a short key. So when we, after we click Center, we're gonna put our title. And I like to teach my students to do a title, a colon, and then a subtitle. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. So you'll hit Enter one more time, and that is going to take you to the next line where you'll actually start writing your document. But if you start here, it's going to center everything. So come back up to your alignment buttons, click on the left alignment button, and that's going to take you over to the left where you will begin typing your paper. Okay, now I've noticed that our 
font has magically changed back uh, and we'll need to change that back. This is something that happens all the time in Word. Word is a very automated program and will do things to you without you wanting it to do them. So uh, usually control Z will change something back that you've done that you need to change back. Like if you accidentally delete a whole paragraph and you start freaking out, oh my gosh, I accidentally deleted a paragraph. Control Z will usually cause that paragraph to pop back up. Control Z is a short key for undo. But we're going to highlight all of this and we're just going to make sure that we have the font and the size that we need. There, that looks better. Okay, so let's talk about what this information actually looks like. This is obviously not what the first page of your paper is going to look like. You've actually got to have information in here. So if your name were Jennifer Jackson, it's just first name, last name, uh, your professor, if you're in high school, it can be Miss or Ms. or Mr. or Mrs. But if you're in college, it needs to be either professor or doctor. So we're going to put in Professor Natalie Quinn. And then the course title, if you're in high school, English 4. If you're, in, if you're a senior, English 4. If you're a junior, English 3. Or if you're in college, you might have something like English 101 Composition or some title like that, the title of the course. Now your date is a little unusual. The date is written day, month, year, and that's the date that your paper is due. So I have 10 October 2018 for the date that this paper is due. And again, the title and subtitle uh, the title can just be your topic, and then you can have a subtitle. This is just a very elementary formula for writing a title if you're having trouble with a title. So you might have something like William Shakespeare, All the World is a Stage. So that's a pretty good title. And again, remember, you'll come down to the next line. You'll hit Tab, which is the perfect amount of space for indenting your first paragraph. We're going to hit tab and see that's a perfect amount of space to indent. And then you're actually going to begin your paper. Hopefully your paper will be a little more scholarly than that. That was just an example. So I think this is all the information that you need to set your paper up at the beginning. Uh, if you happen to have missed classes, this is a really good way to catch up and make sure your document looks the way you want it to look. Uh, you'll notice that our title doesn't have bold or italics or all caps. It's just in regular type. So this is a really good example for page one of your research paper. I hope this helped.